Hello, my friends, and welcome to Children of a Dead Earth. Uh, this game just hit Steam a little while ago, I think a couple of weeks ago, and it apparently is not in early access. It is just a straight-up release, I think. I th I'm pretty sure it's so hard to keep track anymore. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. I really hope, I think, this is a full release. I checked. Didn't say anything about early access on the Steam page. I'm going to check that again because I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, it does not say early access. It says one point, the last patch was yesterday. 1.0.6. Okay, there we go. Boom. Not early access. Look at that. A game that just comes out. How quaint. Right? How quaint. Uh, that's so it's so in 2000s it's so 90s um this game is like what if you took Kerbal Space Program added a campaign to it and added weapons to the ships this is pretty much what you would have um the game has a campaign of several missions I've done three of them and but we're gonna start at the beginning I just wanted to get a feel for it and these these missions aren't easy that's why I've only gotten this far I wanted to play it before I made a video of it because I didn't want to look like an idiot. But I kind of do. So, But we're going to um, start from the very beginning. But um, these missions get unlocked as you play further. And uh, there are certain parts of the game that won't be unlocked until you get to a certain point in the campaign. So the, uh, the ship designer... Here. Like, I can't create a new ship until I've reached a certain mission in the campaign. I can look at other ships. Like, here's a Corvette. That's neat. Here's an escort carrier. They carry drones. Drones are a big deal in this game. Uh, I've ship. Laser frigate. Very utilitarian, realistic designs. There's nothing sleek about this. There's nothing sleek about this at all. It's very pure, hard science. You know? So we have stations, we have uh, missiles, so we can see all the different things. You know, these are these are drones. These are basically unmanned fighters that that uh, a variety of ships can launch, like these little carriers. These this has um, launchers as well. But as you can see, there's also rail guns and cannons, and I think there's you know lasers. So lots and lots of different ships to play with um, but right now see we can't unlock any we can't do anything ourselves until we played retaking series um, so let's start at the very beginning and we'll show you how this game plays so basically uh, each game has each, each mission excuse me has an overview this is your briefing uh, basically, we're gonna rendezvous. We're gonna rendezvous first with a ruptured fuel tank, and then rendezvous that with the space station. Basically, um, you can read articles. This is not my first time seeing this article. I read this before. You can read articles about orbital mechanics, about delta v. Is your change in velocity? But also, it's also a measure of how much fuel you have left. This is how many burns, you know, how, how orbital burns. This is the faction, the Republic of Free People, that's us. It's Luna Bodies, you know, the moon. So, oh, geez, it just opened a browser window. That's kind of neat. Uh, and the Allied Craft is the, the depot. The tanker, which is what I'm going to be flying, which I believe is what needs to be repaired. And my ship. No, no, I'm flying the, uh... Yeah, I think I'm flying the tanker. Yeah, okay. So, there are many factions in this game, and I like how there's a lot of detail as to how much, uh, the history of each faction. This takes place in the, de in the decently far future after Earth has a cataclysm. And you learn more about this as you play and you read about the factions and whatnot. It's pretty interesting. So we're going to begin the mission. 
We have to see how this works. This is a relatively... So, yeah. So you can use the WASD keys to move around. This is turn-based as well, which I really like. And you could change how long a turn is. Like if you think you only need an hour or six hours or a day, you know, you can change how long each turn is, which is really handy. Uh, the camera controls are fairly intuitive, you know, and you could also use the right mouse button to move around and the left mouse button to pan around. Oh. I also do all this with the mouse wheel, which is pretty nifty. Yeah, so this is a very basic tutorial. Basically what I just told you guys. There's Earth right there. We can focus our camera on it. Yeah, everything ain't looking so good, huh? See that? Ain't looking so good. Focus back on Luna. With this message log is very handy, as you will see. Very handy. So yeah, as it sees, Delta V is zero because it has no fuel, no ability at all to maneuver. This is something you definitely have to keep track of because I've run out of Delta V's in <laughs> Delta V V's <laughs> uh, in missions and it's not a good time. And see the Delta V, the, um, the tanker has quite a bit Delta V because it's got a good chunk of fuel. Oh, nice. So we're refueling the tanker before we go off. Oh yeah, so we want to split this into its own fleet. Okay. Cargo freighter in a wide orbit and two other fleets in the same orbit, right on top of each other. That's right, these two fleets. Okay. Right. So, yeah, this, uh, as you can read up here, the freighter we're supposed to rescue has a slower orbit because it's a farther orbit, whereas we have a faster orbit. Neat, huh? I like how you can change that if you need to make long hours of time go by before some kind of rendezvous. So let's select the tanker. Now we go into the fun part, trajectory. This is where we change our course, our speed, and all that with these bars here in order to match up, in order to match up with the uh, freighter there. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's, there's, we have a blue bar now, which is our future path. So we can select this bar and then change it. We can change this. All three dimensions, by the way. We can change the tangent, tangential. So we'll hit the rock. <laughs> so as you can see, it shows you the uh, future 
uh, path of your ship. It's pretty nifty, actually. You can also kind of project. Yeah, I really like this. So you see how when you move along the blue line here, the, pro the projected thing, it also projects where the other ship is going to be. Right, so now we've seen, selected a point. Hey, this is where our ships are going to be there. So this is what takes us in a wider orbit or a tighter orbit. This is when we have the blue ones when we have to use the third dimension, but we don't have to use that this time, thankfully. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna change this. <laughs> See, this is what I'm not very good at. So once you have set a p plot that lets you link up with something, it gives you the option to click that and set that as your plot. Then match the orbit. And see, now I plotted the rest for you. Okay. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, we're now in the same orbit. But now we need... A slightly and now we need to select a slightly tighter orbit but which can we can do that whoops 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 and then we can join it here I already did that. Whoops, I'm getting ahead of the tutorial. I did already. There we go. Alright. So we still have doesn't cost too much to do this to do this thing which is nice uh, so let's now we're gonna run it until they join boink okay so now we'll select the new fleet you hold up oh yeah Yay! Now we gotta. Now we have to resume. Now we have to. Now we have to get back to the. Uh, Okay. Oh, 
my goodness. The interface in this is so great. I already did this. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's nifty. I already did this. Oh, so that's nifty. So if you look at something's frame of reference, it looks like a crazy trajectory. But now it just looks like, oh, it's just a turn. Incoming transmission. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Ah. Okay. Oh, my God. I need to take a break. Oh. Yeah, I'm not good at these games. So the next mission is a bit longer and I don't I don't want to keep I don't want to have it go over half an hour. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, also because this game is exhausting. Because <laughs> it's so realistic. It's like math. Oh, God. Math trajectory. Uh, so thank you for. Um, for watching, folks. I'll see you for the next entry. Bye.